Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we're going to be hooking up the air fuel ratio gauge to the laptop. Stay tuned. Thanks for tuning guys, if you haven't yet, please consider hitting that subscribe button and that post notification bell to stay up to date with this build. With that being said guys, let's get into it. Alright boys, we have got a delivery. So, this is the serial port. So, the serial port to USB. So, we're going to the laptop and we have a, an empty serial port that we need to hook up. Might be able to see in the background here. Um, that's the serial port there and it shows you how you need to wire it up as well so we only need two wires we need the blue wire from the gauge and we need an earth um, watched a video uh, a week maybe two weeks ago saying it's it's better to do it this way than digitally because it converts it so many different ways Kind of like Chinese whispers, you know, you, you lose some of the the signal. So uh, we'll do it this way, and uh, yeah, hopefully it works out. If there's a lot of difference between um, the two different airflow, um, the air ratios, mm, I don't know where to go from there. Let's get into the car, find the wiring, and I'll probably extend it. And we'll find somewhere to mount this as well. So uh, it's easy, easily um, connected to for not only myself, but when the tuner gets in there, they can use the cable to hook up to their, their system as well. They might use their own, but the option will be there for them. All right, guys. So I'm going to find somewhere I can mount this. And we'll uh, find the wires and uh, run it up to the location. Right, so I've got to find those wires again. I was thinking in here, maybe it'll fit. Alright guys, so I'm going to pull this off again. Uh, it's going to be easy to get to the wiring and we can have a look at the back of that to see if serial port will fit in there all right boys just tried that out just need to trim this bottom corner off just a little bit and we'll be able to get that in sick there we go fits in there pretty good I'm just even it once all the wiring's done i'll probably Get some RTV on the back of it, we'll fill it in a bit. Alright, let's uh, find these wires and uh, bring them up to this location. Alright guys, so we have the blue wire and the earth. So we're going to tap into that earth and we're going to go from that blue one. We've got a red and a black one, don't have any blue. And we're going to run that up to here and wire it into the serial port. All right, boys, so it's all connected at that end. So you just need to terminate it in the serial port. So uh, we'll pop this open, go have a look at the instructions um, from the gauge, and I'll tell you what the earth needs to go to and what the um, the blue, blue, red wire needs to go to. Alright boys, so we have the blue wire from 
the gauge to pin number two and pin five is the ground so that's pretty easy so we're just gonna pop this open pretty easy and this whole center section actually comes out cool and then you can probably see they're all numbered so one to five is on this side and the ground to nine so uh i'm not sure if i have to run two grounds on this but i will do um just the pin two and five Alright boys, so I have the two wires in there, so before I button everything up, I'm going to test this out, so I'll get the laptop in here and uh, we'll see if it works. Alright guys, got the laptop here, it was actually just, just there. Anyways, I left the master switch on for a couple of days, so hopefully we are all good. Um, so we have the Tetrix connected, and then I will connect my new ser serial to a uh, USB and see if it will work. Whoo, that took me a while. So with the serial port, I didn't actually put the earth into five. I had to put it to the ground. Makes sense. And then I had to change the flow control and here it had none and changed it to hardware and that was actually com port 5 which wasn't popping up all the time um, probably because I had the ground in the wrong terminal but yeah now we have that reading and in the data as well so sweet so tomorrow because it's quarter past 10 at the moment and we are on curfew at 9 p.m mint um we'll uh start her up tomorrow during the day and hopefully just head out and see how we're looking cool oh yeah and the battery was flat it's actually on charge at the moment so that's i'm just sitting here with all the power on so yeah, except for the the pump, but yeah, sweet. I'll put the computer on charge, so it's all good for tomorrow. Not sound too good, am I? This might need to be calibrated. Look at that. It's, it's not even on. That's sitting at sixteen. Hmm. All right. So now that we've got that going, um, we can put the dash back together. All right, got it all back together. Just got it going across over to where the laptop will be. I'm gonna do something about this, this switch here. Um, see if we can find a smaller switch. I don't know, maybe just like a, a press push button one. Just a little one. An on off one that'll fit within the original plastic all right boys it's the next day um car is still up in jack stand so probably just going to run the car here and see how we go um with data logging the the gauge to the um stock air fuel ratio and uh, we'll go from there, I guess. So I'm already plugged in here, and uh, it's not it's not too bad. It does get in the way a little bit when putting the keys in, but other than that, it's all right. Moves around a bit. I'll, I'll fix that up later. So laptop was on all last night, so it should be nice and charged. 
Let's get things set up and uh, we'll see how different they are. All right, boys, we are running. So we've got the front one and my wide band. They're actually pretty close. Pretty close. Not bad. We are still on startup though, so we'll see how it goes. Alright boys, so I've got a few parameters there and I think this is on the data. Yep, yeah, it's on the data one. So we've got two top ones of the sensors, got battery voltage because that'll obviously affect that. We're a bit smoking out the back still. Actually a lot smoky, I'm gonna go check it out. Maybe I need to put that cat in. Anyway, I'm going to finish up here soon because I'm going to smoke myself out. So I'm just going to do a log for a certain amount of time. I have engine load speed, so I might hold the throttle down to a certain point and see how air fuels are at that, comparing the two. All right, so I held it at 2,000, 2,500 and 3,000 and we have a stupid amount of smoke now so um, the gauge looks pretty similar to the computer I'm going to turn this off and not smoke out everyone right Comment guys, what is it? Is it rings? Is it turbo? Damn it stinks. I can't smell that good at the moment because I'm a bit sick, so anyway, I'm gonna have a look at these logs and next video we'll have a chat about that. But hopefully this helped you hooking up your AEM to log it. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this episode, give it a thumbs up. And again, if you know why it's so smoky, comment down below. I've got a turbo rebuild kit coming. So hopefully that'll help. That being said guys, Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next episode. Bye.